So, as promised, as announced, I'm back and I'm doing extra, extra time today with running the British Rail Class 313 on another uh, DLC, the London Commuter DLC. And we will do some yard work and empty coach moves. This one here, Selhurst to Lovers Walk. TRSMD, that is the strange thing for Train and Rolling Stock Maintenance Depot. These two belong together, it's one and two, and those four belong together. Actually, three shunting services, one with coupling up and then an empty coach move with a double traction class 313 obviously I should update those things here London commuter it is the service that I prepared is The one. Get them into a proper place. And the other one too. About that, that should be enough. Oh. What is this HUD doing here? If you have trouble with derailing issues in the Selhurst depot and on any other shunting services, Make sure that all the switches are aligned properly, also the ones that you are not approaching facing the points, but facing the frog, because otherwise you will get derailed quite easily. For whatever reasons. Now is the chance to discuss anything and everything true and to just enjoy without me talking all the time the beauty and calm of virtual train driving. And in those depot moves here in Zellhurst depot, you can see what it means that you have a busy timetable even even with the AI trains. 
even with the services that are running out of the map here. This is really a, a masterpiece of timetable creation. By Joe the Fish Burgess. We are limited to five miles. Going into a shunting neck here. So that we then in the next service can pick up our second train set. At the moment we are only single traction and all the time every time there are trains moving on the other other tracks electro stars mainly sometimes classic sixes So I think this was the service already. Well, I will try to play them just one after the other with going into free roam here, shutting down this cap. Always important to remove the master key on the cap that you're leaving. Otherwise, this train so will apply brakes. Closing the door from the inside is a bit tricky here. I noticed some strange behavior of LZB on Bauer 103 when it picked up LZB. The Befehl 40 started flashing, but it did not do anything, just flashing all the time, and nothing could be done to stop it. I thought to record it and discuss it on Discord. Oh, on my Discord? Then I will, will, will look at it, or a Discord of the game. But good thing you recorded it. The Befeel 40. That is really strange. I think that there should be a, a separate indicator for Befeel 40. That's a B auftrag, isn't there? problem when playing those services one after the other is that you sometimes don't see the track properly here. Typically the track that you are supposed to go is blue. But for some reason it is not blue. If we are not starting the service from the main menu but just go on with free roam. Let's see if we can do it anyway. I have to pick up this second set over there. Path should be aligned. Let's ask the signaler anyway, but she's not interested. Do not even get an answer. That is actually something that I um, would be really interested in if that could be 
implemented in the game that in LZB you get a Vorsichtsauftrag or a Satzauftrag or Gegengeleis a Satzauftrag or something like that. With all those indicators used for this kind of stuff. Those units are using tight lock couplers, if I'm not mistaken. At least that is what is described in the operating manual. Well, there is not much else at B in the game. Yeah, someone actually asked me in a comment uh, this week on, on one of my videos if uh, I knew whether the Baureihe 110 can use else at B and I checked it out and it actually works. You can see that this locomotive has all the equipment for it and I tested it on Schnellfahrstrecke Köln and it works. It's actually quite fun to see this the LZB B stuff run on this old what is it in the MFA seven or something. So what DLCs are there with, with LZB? Obviously Schnellfahrstrecke Köln, Schnellfahrstrecke Kassel Würzburg, Hauptstrecke München Augsburg, right? This is where you will find LZB. Ah, the trucks does not work. Even the Baureihe 155 as working else it'd be funny enough but it does not have a switch to turn it on or off it it just works and uh the other day when i was at this fair where at, at the ranchivanov the shunting yard there happened to, to be a bauer 155 and uh, i was able to go into the cab and talk to the driver and I asked him, where is the switch for turning off the LZB on the Bauer 155? And he says, there is no switch, just have to disconnect the battery. <laughs> so the operating rules say you have to stop before coupling. Then drive up to the other unit. Not faster than two miles. What well, is with this train a bit difficult because it accelerates so fast? Wait for it to be coupled. Then test it if the coupling actually worked by reversing. Ever so slightly. And for some reason I cannot drive this train anymore because the coupling already well turned off obviously my second unit even before I uh, shut down the cab here. We have a couple button here and from what I've read in the operating manual you would press it after you actually did the mechanical coupling. Maybe to establish the proper coupling of the electric pieces and the pneumatic pieces. Well, what is important anyway is that we shut down this cap here properly. We don't even need taillights. We can turn it off completely. Obviously the reverse and remove the master key here. Otherwise this cap will apply brakes all the time. Turn off the safety devices. I think then we're all good. Let's 
same time we can check the other cap. See if this is off. Yeah, that is good. Lights, don't need lights at this point. And now we should drive this double traction class 313 out of the shed, but not reverse it, but go out on the other end. So at least this is a short train. Lights. Master key. Now the signaler wants to talk to us. And again, before we actually start, always make sure that the switches are aligned properly, otherwise we will have problems with the railing issue. Normally it should not really be a problem to go through a switch, even if it is not set in the direction that you are coming from. Typically, it just open the switch into that direction then. But here we have this problem with derailing. Is that true for all the trucks that LZB doesn't work on them properly or at all? So how many trucks are there in, in the game? We have the 146.2, we have the 185.2, we have the 185.5, 185.6. That makes at least four without all the versions, the different versions and deliveries. So let's hope that we survive all the switches here. Still in a limit of five. Then there is something weird actually or surprising. You see that there is a 15 miles per hour limit coming up. And uh, well, that is not a weird thing in itself, but as soon as we pass the Speedboard with the 15, this limit will get active. Maybe the limit actually starts earlier. And just by coincidence, we have passed it with the whole train when we passed the speedboard. And Munching s train has good LZB. This is actually something that I always meant to do, but never did. Check out the LZB implementation on the... What is it in Munich? It is um, Baure 4.23, right? I actually traveled on, on one of those 
Wünschen S-Bahn, um, Baureihe 423. Recently. And I must have gotten a, a major refurbishment because they had all new passenger information devices and stuff. <clears throat> Shunting signal with a theater indicator showing a Y. Which is a great idea to make core section of LZB bahn under LZB for shorter intervals. Yes. Well, the Stammstrecke is just so busy. <clears throat> that without the shorter intervals, you couldn't get your trains through this bottleneck. In Vienna, I actually don't have a picture of Vienna in my head subway wise with Vienna I always uh, connect trams obviously No, I did not check when actually the level 15 starts, or the 15 reduction starts. They have s and core section 2 under PZB. <clears throat> okay. But do they have a subway in Vienna? I really don't remember being on a subway in Vienna. Next service is done. I shut down. Of course they have. Well, they must have, right? But I really don't remember what it looked like. But that might be because last time that I was at Vienna was uh, with my car, so not much reason to use the subway. Five lines and six under construction. All right. Well, let's go on the outside. This is too far through two trains. <clears throat> so, another shunting neck, and from this shunting neck, we are taking the train to Selhurst Station, and then from Selhurst, we will go let's turn on the safety devices first then we will go with an empty coach move to brighton master key lights oh did i switch on the tail lights on the other end i think i forgot oh, well let's check it with the external cameras before i walk back to the other end Oh, there is no lights at all. I just turned it off. Can't do that. We need tail lights at the end of our train. But no worries, we will be held at the red signal later anyway, so... I think we have all, all the time. 
in the world to prepare our train tail lights. This is what I wanted. So, once more. Well, we are held here at the red signal anyway. And for a reason, because the train is coming out of the yard. Would be a nice um, a random event if actually some passengers would try to talk to you on the passenger communication thingy, the passenger emergency alarm or whatever it is called. And then you can just override it. Ping! Don't want to hear you. And then you get sacked for overriding the passenger complaint. Can I go now? Can I go now, Signaler? Not even talking to me. What we should do is set the DRA, by the way, since we are held to the red signal. Hope the signaler did not forget that we are actually sitting here. Ah, now I switched. Well, then we will go. Proceed to syndicate. this was in the game, it would be done in a lame way, just like the guard DLC. Ah, uh, the Glossop line is the guard DLC, right? I do not own it yet. So you say it is lame? <coughs> you don't like it, okay. Well... I would expect it to be a bit dull since you don't have to do too much as a guard then. Or do you do door service and buzzing off the engineer as well? Or are you only checking the tickets? You are only allowed to use guard control from back cap, not the one near the doors, I see. Ah, okay. <clears throat> and does the AI driver then wait for your bossing off? Or does he just start the train? Yes, oh that is cool. And it only works on, on uh, the the train that it is that comes with the DLC, right? Not on any other train that you would run there off the rails or whatever. 
You yell at passengers at the platform, okay. <clears throat> so now we're actually going towards Selhurst Station and most probably we will be held at a red signal, yes there are the red signals denying us access to the station. Just telling you that I'm waiting at the signal. I guess I'm supposed to do that. There is no diamond, nothing. And it is not an automatic signal. So I think I am required to tell you, signaler. So don't say denied. <clears throat> and I can see the Electro Star at the platform. And obviously, I don't want to crash into it. To crush, to crash into it. Nice that they have those little derails here, right? So that no one can come from the depot and run into the main line. And they are actually in derail position at the moment. Sending the train on the third rail here directly. So, why don't you leave the platform? That is actually what we do in Prague Metro when going from depot that we have to call dispatcher. Yeah, I think that is a good thing. But great to hear that this is a thing in real life actually as well yeah from what i've read in the in the operating rules originally train drivers were required to call the dispatcher every time they were held at red signal rule 55 and at the times when there was no no signaler no telephone they actually had to lock up the train and walk to the signaling box and tell yeah my train is standing at this signal and then go back to the train. This is why they have those telephones at the signals. In case that the GSMR doesn't work. Yes, that is the case too, but even if there is clear signal, we have to call. Ah, I see. Even a clear signal you have to call before you join the main line. Well. Let's 
So this is another level of security. But the dispatcher knows that there is another train out in the wild. So what's really cool is how many trains and trains are actually passing when you're waiting here. Obviously, if you want to drive your train and not want to wait around, those services are not for you. But I really enjoy them. They are slow paced. You have all the time in the world to set up your train, to switch cabs. The main reason is that if there is any situation, the dispatcher will inform about it immediately. Ah, I see. So that the dispatcher can update you. So finally, the Electrostar is leaving the platform. I don't know why it stopped that long there. Double traction train two, eight cars. Oh, and we missed the Gatwick Express that was Passing on the fast lane, fast line, the fast line. But we're still not allowed, and I know why I already saw them approaching the Class 66 convoy. He's allowed to use the line before us. One, two, and they have a head and power. A uh, hidden power. And RHTT units in between. So, may we go now? Now that the Class 66 convoy has passed, now there is another Electrostar approaching. So maybe after that.
okay <laughs> I'm still using the vigilance pedal every now and then even though we are stationary at the red signal but this is in the muscle memory of my left pinky receiver or the pedal release I never knew that those stops are so long. This is too hard. <laughs> you do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that. Even when watching me. <laughs> And finally, we got a proceed aspect. And even the derailer moved. And we're not the only train going into the station. We're going against the direction of traffic here. Towards a red signal, obviously. Yes, and now we have to turn around and go to Brighton again. I will try to do it with the free roam. That means off here. Master key off, full service. Now I don't forget switching to marker lights. <clears throat> Since we are at the platform, we can go on the outside. This is sometimes funny <clears throat> if you can't close the door because it is always offering you to board the train. Just move to need to move back a little because then the prompt for uh, boarding the train for that you are too far away, but you can still close the door. Like here, always the climb up comes in. But if you go back, then you will have the door. <clears throat> but I cannot close this door with the panel. Maybe I would have to use the key first. No, it's not key. No. Safety. What did you say? Video game video would be understandable, but I find myself pressing it even when watching real live stream from drivers. <laughs> <Point of view. laughs> oh, we are at the red signal and we can't leave right away. <clears throat> and typically we are not allowed to move the train towards the signal and stop at the red signal again. You need a special permission to start your train towards a red signal. 
<clears throat> Signal doesn't want to talk to us anyway. All right. Train is ready to leave, just to let you know. So that we can stop blocking the station here. Oh, good call. I did not forget the marker lights, but I forgot the headlights here. <clears throat> Should be enough 40 limits here, no? Didn't see it obviously because we came from the opposite direction. But they typically have a 40 limits here on this track. This is this really, really big junction towards South Croydon. No, what is it called? East Croydon, South Croydon is the smallest station in the south, obviously. One driver makes videos on YouTube and last year we had an old TGV on display in the Czech Republic. And he drove the train transporting it across the Czech Republic with a Vectron. <laughs> These are nice videos when there are many photographers along the track. Oh yeah. And they are on YouTube? Yeah, he said so. So he pulled the TGV around with a Vectron in front of it. So, directed to, what is it? Track 7 in East Croydon, no? He drove. <laughs> Vectron that was pulling TGV. Didn't know that they can even couple up. He started on the same school as me. <laughs> cool. Double yellow, yellow. Prepare for. Stopping before we can go out on the main line again. After passing our yellow, I always try to slow down to 30. And then not to be faster than 20 at the magnet for the next signal. Now we can see the signal, it has cleared already, so that we can accelerate a bit more. Ah, they used a special car to couple up. Ah, I see. And it had faulty pipe and it Break during ride and damaged every single wheel of tissue from sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was an expensive trip then. Or was this TGV train set to be scrapped anyway? All right. 
right. South Korea may going across the switch to the right. What is the limit for the switch to the right? 20? Probably. And double yellows again. Now let's see what we have. 20, yes. That is what I really like in, in this DLC London Commuter, that you have so many spots where you switch lines, go across switches, see the junction indicators, you have to prepare for speed limits on the switches. And the signal action that you get here with all the yellows, you typically don't get this on, on the normal services. But on the empty coach moves you get it. Single yellow, so I won't accelerate beyond the 30. And so in that video he describes it because a lot of people blamed him for that. <laughs> Alright. They blamed him for <laughs> breaking the wheels on the TGV. Red signal switch to green uh, to yellow. So what would you punch in to find those videos? Yeah, I would I would look at it. I've never seen a TGV being pulled by a Vectron. Germany they use Vectrons to pull almost everything. But I don't think that I ever have seen a real life TGV anyway. Now our speed limit increases to 80, but we mustn't forget that our train has a maximum velocity of 75.
so and off we go the slow line coast and south I think this is One of your classmates now works as a signaler in this TGV train was passing through his station. He recorded that video. From outside with every wheel knocking and it even made appearance on TV news. <laughs> right. Good thing it did not get any hot box or something like that. Just imagine an old TGV train pulled by a vacuum derail somewhere causing a major obstruction nobody being able to find the machines to <laughs> get the TGV back on track double yellow Makes me decelerate to about 50. Single yellow incoming. No, it's a double yellow. At least now it is. They just let the train coast. to get us through the tunnel With this light at the end of the tunnel bug, you did not even see the signal. And probably the funniest thing after this failure, French engineers concluded that the train can run even with such a broken pipe, but the maximum speed can only be 470, while the highest possible speed on check railways is 160. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. So the TGV can run 170 kilometers with a broken brake pipe.
nice thing also this, with these empty coach moves here is that we can use the slow line south of Red Hill. What the Electro Stars don't use typically. Single or double? No, it's a single. So I slow down to 30. I like what the American operating rules typically say for an approach signal. Slow down to 30. Or start slowing down to 30. All trains that are traveling faster than 30 miles per hour have to start slowing down to 30 at once. Red signal is already visible, also the AWS magnet. So slowing down to 20 or something between 15 and 20 until we hit the magnet like now. And then Yeah, and it switched just when I prepared for turning on the DRA. But not to get too excited, we only got a single yellow. Signal is red. So we're going straight through this line here. And let's switch to green. By the time we completely forgot what line speed was here, actually. But I think we will be reminded after the junction here. 75. Okay, we can do that. I think where on the left the fast line is coming back line speed even 90 now
Oh, and I cannot not mention the railway company's obsession of naming train classes with animal names. Do they do that? Do they use animal names? So now we are just coasting towards Gatwick. There will be a limit to 70, I guess, before we get to Gatwick. You have City Elephant, Inter Panther, Regio Panther, Regio Spider, Regio Shark, and the newest. Regio Fox. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of sweet. By the way, I am. No, I'm not running f too fast already. I'm full in my rights. I know that only from German military, they always call every vehicle with animal names. But German railways always use those quite boring class names. Seventy here. And this is their actual names like in English and it came from their aspect. Okay. So I wonder what the Regio spider looks like. Going to track three Gatwick. Elephant is a bit big double decker, Panther is fast, Shark has long nose. <laughs> All right. Well, you would expect something like a Shinkansen then, with a long nose. Not that long, <laughs> right? Now getting to three bridges area. It would be actually cool to have more shunting services and yard services in three bridges yard. There is really a lot of track there. There are some some ECM services with the Electro Stars. 
but not that many. Sixty limit incoming. That was that was what the alarm was for. That was the dynamic brake kicking in with full might on level one or step one braking. Sixty now. Four three bridges. And back to ninety or seventy five for us. Yeah, this whole yard area here, and something on the diverging tracks. Would be cool to use that. So, now we're getting to the point where the slow line and the fast line converge. And we have to slow down to 70. for the point where we join like now and a second time tuck. the throws is about quite heavily well 70 miles on the switch are 70 miles on the switch and we are not actually a high-speed train. Now we can go back to 75 and go in the tunnel. This light is actually nice with a train passing you in the tunnel. And now downhill.
That's what I like about the empty coach moves. You can just have your train coast even if you're a few clicks below the maximum. Don't need to worry about the timetable so much. Smoothen the edges. Now we're getting close to Aus Valley Viaduct, the most iconic landmark, probably in the Steel Sea. Hi Yannick, nice to have you on the chat. See the radar, we are passing this um, permanently on caution signal here at the exit of Ardingly. That you asked me about on the Isle of Wight stream. Split banner repeaters telling us we are going to the left actually. Double yellows. Yep, yeah, there is that board. Just like on the Isle of Wight. Thank you, I'm fine. I'm doing an overtime stream today and chatting with CD Radar about a TGV train being pulled by a Vectron locomotive through the Czech Republic screaming and screeching with a broken or not properly <laughs> that's nice right with a broken or probably not properly connected brake pipe That should be Highwoods Heath here. That is London Commuter, the Brighton Main Line. The part south of Gatwick. Station here is called Haywards Heath. <coughs> yeah, it's a DTG. It came with a summer pass in 2022. One of the greatest uh, DLCs, it is famous for its timetable. Has the busiest timetable of all DLCs with more than thousand services. Signals cleared again, didn't they? I see a green on the horizon. And we can accelerate to 75. Yeah, you remember that. That's cool. Well, every time I play this DLC, I really have to think that is epic. This timetable is epic. What ICE is my favorite? Well, design wise, obviously the ICE 3, the 
And actually, I prefer the older version, the not the 3M, but the 3, the 403. For some reason, maybe because I have my old old eyes. Yeah. Probably because I have my Tiger Ways livery for the IC3. The Ice T. That's nice. We can, can run it off the rail in the Long Island Railroad and we have a Long Island Ice T. <laughs> Need to be careful, just got a single yellow. Don't want to spread out here. Ronnie, the, the, the train driver who drives ICEs that was or who was on the stream a couple of months ago. I remember him announcing that he had to do an empty coach move with an ICET. But he never got back to tell us about how it was. Just as well. So far, I did not need to stop completely. Yes, I'm from Germany. I still think it would be great if those low adhesion signs actually correspond with parts of low adhesion in in the track. But I think they are just there for the looks. No, this is not the reason for Tiger Ways. That is Tiger Ways because my online name has always been Tiger with a Y. And for my fictitious railway uh, company, I chose Tiger Ways. Yeah. <clears throat> so like British Airways or 
something like that. That was the idea. So J de Raidage is a company too. And what company is that? Ray Ray, yeah, hey, nice to have you on the stream and on the chat. Shoot, fire away with your question. It's a parody company to the national carrier CD. I see. Can you also make it night in the game? Yes, you can pick a service that starts late enough and pick a month that gives you night time for that for that time of day. So it has a full day night and year circle this game Well, I can show you, but first I have to finish this this uh, service here, then I can show you the night version of it. No problem. Are you on P? On what 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 is P? Yeah, PC. I am on PC. I'm playing on PC. and the Epic Game Store version, to be exact. What is not always identical with the, with the Steam version, unfortunately. So we're actually closing into our destination. Oh, as soon as I'm done with this service, we will be in like 10 minutes, I can show you my collection. I have quite a lot of everything that was released until one year ago. Almost everything, I should say. Not all of the newer stuff. Double yellow slowing down to 50. Is the game laggy on stream or is that on the hardware? It must be the stream. Uh, sometimes it is a bit laggy, obviously, 
on the PC as well, especially since I updated my graphic adapter drivers recently and that always leads to the game having to calculate the shaders new because the shader cache gets deleted. So this is a nice position for junction indicator. You don't see that a lot. Uh, four, five, I should say. Position five. Well, that's actually the problem. As soon as you up or update, more like upgrade your graphic adapter drivers, all the shaders needs to be calculated fresh, and then. You get lags. So, what is the speed limit for the diverging track here? 40, okay. It was not necessary to slow down to 25, but anyways. I think we will have to slow down to 15 anyway. So don't worry, the signal is red, but the shunting signal is on, so we can safely pass it in the British system, even without having to stop and without having to push any maneuver key. Ah, we don't need the Befehl 40, we don't need the maneuver key. You just pass it. Sometimes they require you to stop at the red signal and contact the signaler and then they switch it. But this time it was just on. But I'm still slowing down to 15 miles because this is the entry speed for the depot, if I remember correctly. Going across the junction here. You go to bed, see you soon. Good night, Yannick. Thank you for your input. That was a lag, for example, that came from the game and switching the cameras. And again, mother of all lags, please go on. We're just at the end of the service. Yeah. <laughs> was mother of all the <laughs> So now we're going through the lovers walk train and rolling stock maintenance depot area. Stopping board is not for us, that is for the track to the right. So 
So, in a second time today, we are approaching Brighton. And we're going through this area next to the shed. With the little roof. We have some empty stock moves too in Metro. I really enjoy it every time. That's nice to hear. And interesting to hear that the same thing applies to real life. The empty stock moves are nice and relaxing. So, 250 yards, going straight across this triple switch. I think we will stop next to this Gronk. If it's a Gronk or a 09. It's an 09, the Gronk, still. And here we are. We uncouple three vehicles and drive the other train. Somewhere else, okay. We shut down the cap here. Well, let me leave on the tray lights in case someone needs the train today. Safety systems, everything is off. Train brake to full service. Don't put it into emergency because then it will slow down your train even if you're riding it or driving it from a different cab one two three so how do we uncouple we use the uncouple button yeah Turned on the marker lights and then we drive our train into the end position. So we split our double traction. Safety systems on. Yeah, this switch is hard to reach sometimes. Yeah, well. Am I not supposed to drive this train here? What does the service want me to do? Ah. It wanted me to go on a little bit with the other train. All right. And I will not take this train here. I will leave it alone. Master key is off anyway. I thought we are supposed to drive this train to a different location, but we are not. The idea was to move the other, uh, the other half even further on after having them uncoupled. Let's 
so. Well, probably don't need the safety systems for this little thing, but anyway. Let's turn the lights on again. And here we are. That was that. All four parts of this empty coach move from Selhurst Depot to Lover's Walk, Walk Depot at Brighton. And now, as I promised, I will make it night. Yannick has gone to bed, so I don't need to show my DLCs. Or lost connection to dovetail life. That's too bad, isn't it? So, for example, Just go into the service. Let's have it in December. Light snow and make it night. At 4.30 it should be night. Light storm? <laughs> Lightning storm? Sorry, I did, uh, read it too, too, too late. So, this is what it looks like at night, but we have obviously different DLCs and the lighting is different in the different DLCs. Some have more ambience lighting, some less. So it does not always look the same. And I always wonder why we have so much light in the cab. That is not always on every train like this. But here, for some reason, maybe we're getting this from a floodlight somewhere. Now I can turn on the wiper. Luzern, yeah. Did you read just this? You can say that again, that not every lighting in DLC is, is the same. It's true. Luzern Sursi is a very, very dark one. Sandwich Great, on the other end, always has a night like midsummer in August with a lot of ambience. Obviously, the snow makes it a bit lighter too. Snow depends. There are some you'll see where the snow looks really great. So in my personal opinion, every time you have some fog or mist, this typically enhances the optical impression of the DLC and the snow and the scenery and the weather. Is the Mac line 100% accurate? No, no, it's not 100% accurate, obviously. You can't do that for various reasons, but uh, as far as lines and connections, speed limits, switches, services are concerned, um, it is quite accurate. 
And obviously, accuracy with real world is always a thing that is uh, subject to change because things get changed and um, so it always can be accurate for a given period or at least a specific point in time. So they always have to make compromises, obviously. But I would say it is as accurate in so far as, as that you can recognize more or less everything. That you can look at Google Maps and, and compare where you're driving in the game with Google Maps and uh, see, ah, this is this and this is this bridge and this is uh, that town. And CD Radar says, yes, the local lights, they are very, very um, different. Some have really strong lights that light up the area very much and others have lights that don't really shed a light on the scenery. Oh, I did not really turn on my lights, by the way. Not that, it's, that, that it matters a lot, because British trains don't really have headlights that are supposed to illuminate the scenery. You sound German. Where are you from? Yes, it's true. I German is my native tongue. You found out that Aschaffenburg is no longer there. <laughs> well, Aschaffenburg is still there. Even Langen Prozelten is still there. And Cicivich. Schwarzenegger accent sounds cool. Well, yeah, I'm quarter Austrian. Maybe this is where, where the accent comes from. <laughs> So you're from the uh, the United States then? Not the track, right? The Aschaffenburg track? That's a good question. I don't know. Probably not. Well, yeah. So you also have uh, a bit of snow on the train. And after the train has actually, uh, after the snow has actually fallen and covered the area, it always looks better than this snow just falling visuals. But yeah, that was the night and the snow. And I think I will turn in that one long tunnel on Aschaffenburg. There is no track anymore. Ah, I see. This is what you're talking about. Well, I would have to research that. But yeah, things like this happen all the time, that new tracks get built and uh, routes get rerouted and for some reason, or tracks that are for some reason not suitable because they are too slow or they are missing electrification or whatever, or they are not safe enough, like tunnels especially. So there are some routes specifically set into a certain period of time to make up for this change. Do I have a favorite route in this game? Well, this is really, really hard to say. I have a couple of favorite routes and obviously this uh, changes around because you don't always want to play the same 
But the route that I played first when I started playing this game was Sandpatch Grade. I still think this is one of the greatest routes that are in the game. This route here, London Commuter, is a really great route. It's definitely in my top 5 because of its vast timetable. Dresden Nahverkehr is a great route because you have so much going on in the signaling department and the safety system department. But actually there is hardly a route that I was disappointed of. Most routes have special traits. <laughs> Someone threw a smoke bomb. Have special traits that make them unique and really fun to play. And for my weekly stream, I usually try to dig into routes and trains and topics. So I play this route for this week and uh, then I really like it. Bakerloo line is a great route too. Finnentorp to Hagen, Ruhrsieg Nord is a, a really beautiful route. No, I don't. A couple of weeks ago I actually was in a real life locomotive for the first time in my life. Talked to the driver and well held the buttons and touched the levers but this is as close as I ever got to a real locomotive. But what I do, I read a lot on, on of, uh, uh, or I read a lot about regulations and signaling rules, operating rules, and uh, law that is related with running trains. So this is my professional angle to the whole thing. camera got moved into the passengers compartment so where is this service supposed to end in Wivelsfield three miles well I think I can do that and then call it a night. So let's say there was an emergency and train driver was out cold. Could you take over and bring the people safely to their destiny? Think you could do that? Well, I think it, it, there is hardly a situation where you can actually imagine that some one of the passengers was supposed to drive the train because if the driver is out cold then typically the train will come to a stop because of its safety systems and uh, then someone will come to the train and take care of the passengers and there is unlike a plane or something not the need that someone of the passengers takes over and I have really no idea I think I could run a train or I, I, I am able to run a train that is set up already and that is just sitting there in the station all you need to do is to release the brakes and apply some throttle and then I think I would be able to operate the safety systems but obviously there is much more to driving a train in real life than doing this.
And obviously sometimes you're riding on a train and then you realize that uh, the driver missed the station or started braking too late and you can hear or feel the wheel slip protection system kicking in. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, when you're sitting close to the door to the cab, you can hear. You can hear the sounds that the PC B equipment emits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Spider Man. Well, typically. The penalty brake applications can stop the train pretty well. That was this service. So thank you guys for staying with me during this after hour extra time stream. I will take care of my dogs and then turn in. Thank you for your input and uh, Take care, guys. There is a TGV. Ah, great. And the CZ channel. I will look into this. I'm interested in how your friend Andy managed <laughs> to break a whole TGV train set <laughs> by towing it through the Czech Republic. Thank you much. Thank you very much. Take care, guys. And have a good night or die. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be back next Sunday most probably with the Tiger Ways ICE3. Bye bye. <laughs>